touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. As part of our responsibility, we go around the market in search of substandard products and whenever we find any, we take them off the shelves. Our main objective is to protect you, the consumer, from these bad products and we have been doing that for more than five decades. The more we seize these goods, the more some unpatriotic importers and manufacturers bring in these bad products into the country. We have in our warehouse seizures awaiting destruction for quite some time now, and many have wondered why the delay in disposing these bad products. On this week's edition of the program, we will tell you why and also acquaint you with the process of enforcement, seizure and destruction of products confirmed to be substandard. It's Standard and You coming to you courtesy of the Standard Organization of Nigeria. Let's take this message and I'll be back shortly. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. These are substandard products. They are dangerous to human lives and have negative effects on the nation's economy. We work round the clock in search of these products and wherever we find them, we destroy them. We are committed to the war against substandard and fake products. We are the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Join us on Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. You're still on to Nigeria's most watched program on product quality and safety, Standard and You. My name is Ife Nyuwa Okonkwo. From every nook and cranny in the country, we pick up substandard products subject them to quality analysis and when it is confirmed to be substandard we seize them and keep in our warehouse in this report we shall let you into the process of enforcement that culminates to destruction of bad products please take a listen what you're watching is the destruction of substandard liquefied petroleum gas lpg cylinders there are over a thousand LPG cylinders seized from different locations across the country. <laughs> Officials of the SON seized this large number of electric cables in Lagos. They were established to be substandard. These tires were also picked from various locations across the country. They are also substandard. There's also a large seizure of substandard aluminum roofing sheets at the agency's warehouse in Amuodofin, Lagos. While some of these bad products have been destroyed, a large chunk are still awaiting court order for destruction. If an individual spends foreign exchange buying goods that they knowingly stuff, so you, when you bought it, wherever you bought it from, it was probably up to standard of that country. Now you decided not to pay transportation to the country you want to go and sell. So your foreign exchange now is going into illegality. Now illegality is a gamble. It's a high-stake gambling. So they lose, they lose. But that is something that nobody in such an organization will have a wink of sleep lost because uh, we are destroying this. If we have a hundred of this, we'll gladly destroy it. Because you know why? We are saving lives. We're saving young children in their father's car driving to the village for Christmas from the whole family perishing. You cannot attach a price tag on this property compared to a child's life or a man's life. Even a 90-year-old person's life is still alive, and we don't want to lose that. So, yes, we are not excited or we're not enjoying wasting people's money, but we do relish the idea of making sure substandard goods are outside the market. These bad products are owned by some unscrupulous importers. Over the years, 
Officials of the SON have found out that while some of them are ignorant of the law, which of course is not an excuse, some others deliberately survive on the importation of substandard products and would always devise means to circumvent the law. For an agency saddled with the responsibility of cleaning the market, the SON has invested a lot in human and material resources to succeed in this task. Factories are closing because substandard goods are dominating the market and uh, individuals are dying and hurting because these things are used to build or to drive on cars. So um, it's a very serious issue. Actually, it's a, the level of it is more like an epidemic. It's a COVID-type situation where everywhere you turn, something is being faked. You know, it's, it's ridiculous, but um, our organization is working hard together with other agencies to make sure these things are minimized um, or stopped completely. But we appeal to the public, whenever you buy products that appear to you are below standard, you don't even have to be sure they are substandard. Reach out to us, give us a sample of it, we'll put it in our lab. We have labs that are well equipped to do all this work. We'll verify it. If the product is up to standard, we'll let you know. If it is below standard, then we'll, fry, we'll try and track down the person who brought it into the country and then see what we can do to make it difficult for that person to do it again. It is important to note that it's an onerous task that begins with strategic market survey and intelligence gathering to track the source or sources of these products and their distribution network. It's a task that requires a lot of resilience, patience and hard work given the large market in the country. Director General of the SON, Malam Farouk Salim, puts the entire process in perspective. Unless an individual who imports a product that is substandard puts it in writing that it is okay for us to destroy it, we will have to go through the court system when the individuals are resistant. To even get the permission to destroy any product, we have to get court permission to do it. Because what will happen is, it's possible we will destroy a product and that individual can turn around and say we destroyed a standard product. We don't have any way of showing to the people or to the courts that we did it. So a lawful organization like ours follows the rules. The steps usually are, we seize a good that is below standard. We test it to be sure it is below standard. We will let the individual know the products are below standard. And then we give the individual the freedom to choose. An individual, some of them do, will say we are sorry, we didn't know it's below standard, we didn't know it's illegal to do this, so you can have it, we don't have a problem. In that situation, depend, because of the contriteness shown by this individual, who only sees the products and then let the person go. In some situations, because the thing is so blatant, even if they give us those products to destroy and the permission, we still have to find the individual because they broke the law. So they have to pay money directly to the TSA, not to SON or anything, just to the federal government straight. And then in that situation, we let the person go. In some situations where an individual is really breaking the law and risking people's lives, even if they confess and agree, we have to go through the court system to make sure that they are punished. Because uh, in 2015 uh, Act, there are certain you know, penalties that we have to go through. Now, there are some situations where the individual is not contrite, he's not apologetic, he doesn't want to give up those substandard products. So we follow this, the system. We go through the courts, we, f we file the evidence, our lawyers in the legal department will go through the cases, and then when the court case is over, individuals, which have happened several times, will be locked up, and then the products now will be forfeited to us to destroy. And when we destroy these products, we take into cognizance their health and environmental hazards. For instance, we no longer burn substandard tires, but shred them with these locally fabricated machines. For LPG cylinders, we pierce the containers and make them useless for the storage of liquefied petroleum gas. It is therefore imperative for the various arms of government, especially the judiciary, to provide the necessary legal support to speed up the process of destruction of substandard products. A cross-section of Nigerians who spoke to Standard & You 
wants the SON to continue to destroy these goods wherever they are found and in good time to serve as deterrent to other illegal businessmen. So far this product is not a good product, it's a substandard product that should burn enough. If it is a bad product, they should dispose it. They should do anything they want to do with it. A bad product is a bad product. I think we can just put them on fire and also ensure there is a large media coverage on it so that it will now serve as a deterrent to others, to most of these uh, importers and, uh, and uh, most of these China that are producing them in our countries because it's not really good for us, it's not really good for our um, society. So once you get them, arrest them, persecute them and charge them to court immediately, you know, then the goods should be born, not to go and sell. Then you people should help us and show us where they are born in it, you know. In Nigeria, we, are, we have suffered enough. So we don't need any other substandard products or some other things, you understand? However, genuine local manufacturers of goods in the country are groaning over the prevalence of substandard products, especially live endangering ones like electric cable, tire and LPG cylinder. Substandard. Number one, if we are bringing counterfeit product that is substandard, it will make us to lose our customers because if you buy a product with them find that it's not standard, you can't come again. Then the then retina that made up of Alaba will be useless. They are coming to product registration department of SO and they have to poke love to make a and double sure that every product has their own strong cap registration. Number one, somebody can register two products. What is bringing up to nine to ten products? Because whenever they were cut off, they will say they are registered with two certificate. So why not if you are importing a extension plug, show us you are strong cap registration. If you are importing wire, show us. If you are importing, uh, what do you call it, the bulb, show us. If you are importing change over, show us. These are the things, television, things that they will show their standard registration. That will help. That is one. Number two, anywhere, anytime, anywhere, as you any staff to visit any warehouse or anywhere in terms of checking, they should collect samples of the product one by one and take them to their center and you present their certificate. If not, register them. So that if there is a problem of counterfeit, we know who to trace. The reputation that we have today of Made in Nigeria Cable is because of us member companies that have held on to the belief of the standard, that have followed and checked on ourselves as well that, you know, we are making sure, we check ourselves, we check mate ourselves. We have our own internal stand, standards um, check, you know, we call it the technical council. So it's separate from the main council that, I'm, you know, so they check. We go into each member, you cannot say you won't tell us to come in. We go in once or twice a year, we check your process, we check, you know, so we, we are on each other's toes. And that's why every member of Kaman go to sleep buy their cable you can go to sleep but then you have all these people that have now found out that once they know it's made in nigeria forgetting that made in nigeria is limited to a certain you know number of companies, companies yeah. once you shall put made in nigeria people will go for it and buy it which is the wrong impression and that's what we're trying to change instead of committing millions of naira to the importation and production of substandard products or cloning selling local brands like made in nigeria cables President of the Cable Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Kaman, urged importers and makers of substandard products to take advantage of the technical support of the SON to produce quality products. We have companies in this country that they bring in this bad stuff. They're not producing it. Yeah. They bring it in and then in that factory, they're labeling different companies. fake labels on it. And sometimes they are producing it but then they are producing fake. So if you can produce, why don't you produce the right thing? <laughs> Do you understand? And put your own name. Be proud to put your own name. We will support you to get the technical expertise that you need. And then many more people would can service the country. So why are you producing the bad thing? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's ridiculous. And sometimes when you think about it and the lengths people go, it's, it's crazy. It's obvious that chasing after substandard products and confiscating them is no doubt a daunting challenge, but it's one that the SON has vowed to pursue vigorously to the point of destruction. It's just that we have to coordinate uh, as a government and uh, with people and business people to see where we can find a very 
ideal situation for manufacturing, ideal situation for proper monitoring of whatever goods are brought into the country. The message is for all to join the quality vanguard and say no to substandard products no matter how small. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. I'm here, I'm, I want to work. I want to protect our industry. I want to make sure people are employed. I want to make sure bandits don't have people taking over our country because the people don't have jobs. I want to make sure our schools are working because the government is collecting taxes and paying for schools and building roads and building railways. This is what I'm here for. Join us on Standard on You, your guide to product quality and safety. These are some local manufacturers who have demonstrated resilience and faith in the Nigerian business environment, even in the face of daunting challenges. These operators have gone beyond lamentation and re echoing of the various infrastructural challenges, but taken a step further to taking advantage of the huge opportunities to reposition their businesses. A large number of such business operators, especially small and medium enterprises, SMEs, are working with the Standards Organization of Nigeria to overhaul their production processes through the implementation of standards. What the SOM do when they come here is to inspect what we do. They move to the uh, production section and um, Sometimes they tell us that our workers, we are not dressing proper, properly and uh, they guide us on, the, on what they are supposed to do, which we do follow. Uh, they come on a monthly basis, when they come, uh, they do such inspections and uh, go. We are friendly with them. We appreciate what they do because um, some of the things they actually instruct us upon, we don't know them. And they, through their instructions, we, I think we abide by their rules. And it helps us a lot. When we first started, we, we were in a learning process. So they came in, they looked at our inventory management system, they looked at our raw material system, they looked at our personnel system, and started training us on everything, including meter calibration. So right now we are up to the ISO standard because we make sure that we go every three months for mandatory training. And they come and test all these meters. Like when we are making these meters here and as you're bringing it down from the bench, they just come in and say, yes, we want to test your meters. And they have a mobile calibration shop that they used to make sure that our meters are properly calibrated. When they come for inspection, they always spend the whole day in our laboratory so that they would test the quality, how we produce all the products. Then together with the quality control officer in the lab, they will do everything and where there is need for us to adjust, they will tell us and they will even give us the mandates within the frame time that they will come to check whether we have complied with this. And when it is good, they always issue us certificate of compliance. And if any product has failed the lab test, they will tell us so that the end users will not reject the products. This kind of strategic intervention by the SON has significantly led to a drastic improvement of their businesses, leading to increased patronage of their products and services. And we benefit by, you know, sometimes the product goes faster do the teaching they give to us and we packed it back to our workers. So the production outfit is higher. And again, um, they talked on the quality of the products, which helps us to improve a lot. And uh, because of that, our market, our product moves much in the market. Well, it has placed us that we are the only two between companies from Nigeria that can export. So while some other people come in and they are still trying to get there, if the government gives us the right platform because of what Sun is doing, we can take our meters across West Africa, Africa, and even the Middle Eastern market. So that has placed us as a premier and has given us quality 
And when you think of quality meters, you think of what standard organization has done for us. They help us to grow in that our customers have not rejected our products based on their advice, which we usually follow. The beauty of the SON support is that it is at no cost to the manufacturers who have continued to express gratitude to government for its conscious efforts at developing the real sector. Our country right now is threatened by substandard goods resulting into industries not surviving in this country. We cannot continue to have individuals physically destroying our economy. That's economic sabotage, and we are not going to tolerate that. Join us on Standard & You, your guide to product quality and safety. The program you are still watching is Standard & You. It's feedback time. Alimoto Sifo is standing by. How do you know an original product? How do you identify a counterfeit product? These questions often pop up on the minds of many consumers when we talk about product quality and safety. My name is Alimot Osifo and I'm glad to tell you I'll be sharing some signs that can help you identify an original item from a counterfeit. When we say original, we mean authentic, genuine, good quality. However, counterfeit products are fake or unauthorized replica of the real products. They are often made and sold with the deliberate purpose of tricking consumers into thinking that the fake product is in fact genuine. Counterfeiters take pains to make their products look as much like a genuine product as possible, but there would always be a difference if you pay attention to every detail. Flimsy packaging. If the item is shabbily packed, doesn't fit properly, uses substandard material or no packaging at all, take it as a sign of counterfeiting. Grammatical and spelling mistakes. Counterfeit products can be easily identified through wrong spelling, such as an extra or missing letter, resulting from lack of education or rushed workmanship. So, read carefully. Flood fonts and logos. If you are observant and know the original logos well, you can catch the smallest variation and detect fake logos. No contact details. If the manufacturer's physical address phone number or contact details are not listed on the product or package, it should be a cause for concern as you have no means of contacting the company for grievance redressal. It's better to avoid such products. Missing accessories. Make sure that all supplementary parts that have been mentioned on the package are present in the box. Otherwise, get back to the retailer immediately. No certification marks. Ensure the products carry the appropriate certification marks from regulatory bodies such as the Standards Organization of Nigeria. These signs are endless, but in a nutshell, inspect the package, text, labels to avoid any item that seems suspicious. Say no to counterfeit products, they are fake and unsafe for use. And that's a wrap on this week's episode of your favorite public sensitization program, Standard and You. Do you have a question, complaint, or suggestion? You can send in your messages with your full name and location to the number 0705 Follow us on any of our social media platforms and catch up with missed episodes online at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Don't just view. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. As always, buy original, sell authentic, and use only the best. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the week. Why you de buy ye, the product to ye? Make you de careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. Buy original.